So you get a call. Thermostat's calling for cooling. The breaker is not tripped. The outside unit's not running. Tell the person to turn the unit off. If anything's hot and overheated, it'll cool down. Because this can be a bad capacitor. This can be a lot of different things. This can be a bad compressor. So, but it's not rocket science. Give it a visual. Of course, there's a lot of cobwebs. And right away, you see the capacitor is blown up like a 30-year-old soup can. Oh, and you got to love that, right? I'm sure they have the key to it. I have a key. Problem solved there. Turn the power off. I was kind of playing around with this thing, man. It could have been done already. percent of the time the job is that easy sometimes they're on there pretty good I like to give them a little help go breaking those clips it's not the end of the world let's go to the truck with another one Walked over here with one this time. You're always hoping for the best. Mm It's nice to go on ahead and put an amp probe on there so you can see what the start amps actually are. But we'll check the run amps. Let's find out if it's even any good. I'm going to clean this up a little bit, get some of these spider webs out of here, but they ain't hurting nothing. Compress the starts, the fan starts. Let's go turn it on by the thermostat and check the charge. That line got cold real quick, so I would say the only problem was that dual capacitor. percent of the time this job is going to be that easy